What's going on dudes? County Games back here again. Hope you guys are all doing amazing. So today man we got another another classic M&M. So this is rock bottom guys. This is from the Slim Shady LP. So let's just get straight into it. Uh, straight into this one guys. A lot of my um, loyal uh, subscribers have been asking to make more m and so we're gonna be doing it guys. Uh, pretty much like one every single day. So just leave in the comments down below what you guys want to see next. Also like the video, uh, subscribe please. Helps the channel out a lot. Uh, we gotta get to that 20,000 subscriber mark, 50,000 subscribers, then 100,000, then, you know what I mean? To the moon, guys, to the moon. So, uh, let's just get into this one, guys. Go check out my County Games Jack Mode merch as well. And let's get them an Eminem Rock Bottom. Let's go. Hey, yo. This song is dedicated to all the happy people. All the happy people who have real nice lives. So obviously this is a this is Eminem talking about you know all the happy people you know in life to have loads of money basically and Eminem is referring to his, uh, referring to this as like people that live nice lives and they have no idea what it's like to be broke as fuck Eminem is about to tell you what it's like to be broke so uh, Eminem on loads of different podcasts has talked about his struggles growing up zero money that's why a lot of like people can relate to him like like he's probably one of the most re relatable rappers of all time because like the dude's just broke as hell you know what I mean crime from Detroit, which is like really crime, uh, crime heavy area. And uh, just, just absolutely wild at that guy. So let's keep it on. I feel like I'm walking a tightrope without a circus in it. Popping Percocet, I'm a nervous wreck. I deserve respect, but I work a sweat for this worthless check. I'm about to burst this tech and somebody to reverse this debt. The way he, so he's basically saying, um, I feel like I'm walking a tightrope without a circus net. So he's walking, you know, he's walking super, super uh, precariously. You know what I mean? Uh, because he has no money, guys. You know, he's trying to find a job. He's working all these jobs, like in diners, part time, in these different places, trying to trying to make a living as a rapper. But he says he's a nervous wreck. I deserve respect. Like his whole rhyme scheme, he has that kind of A A B B rhyme scheme. It's just like crazy. Just so many different rhymes, like A B C D, A B C D. Like there's just a ton of different uh, rhyme schemes. The assonance, all these words sound the same too. Even the way he says it, he like he like twists his voice to make the words sound the same it's unbelievable minimum ways got my adrenaline caged full of venom and rage especially when i'm engaged and my daughter's down to a last diaper it's got my ass hyper i pray that god answers maybe i'll ask nicer watching all this while they flossing and they pathfinders these overnight stars becoming autograph signers we all long to blow up and leave the past behind us along with the small fries and average half pinus but play haters turning bitch like they have vaginas because we see them dollar signs and let the cast blind us money your brain wash it will leave your ass mindless when snakes the you know what I mean? Eminem, he wants that money so much, he said, but that money will brainwash you and leave your ass mindless. Snake, sl snake slither in the grass spineless. So like he's saying, you know, that money, that cash will blind you. You know, it'll make you, you know, it'll make you seem like, you know what I mean? Like uh, things are not like what they actually are, you know, because, you know, having tons of money just, it makes life a whole lot easier. That's what M is basically trying to say. Snake slither in the grass is basically reference to like when you get more money the more kind of problems what did biggie say my more mom more money more problems so you know that's kind of facts guys you know uh, if you do get like a ton of cash you always see these celebrities saying oh it's like the worst thing ever because then everyone's trying to get at you for stuff everyone's trying to get money from you craziness as mindless when snakes in the grass spineless Everyone can relate to this man because you're mad enough to scream, but you're sad enough to tear. Like, that's when you feel like you've had up to here, as in, like, that's rock bottom. He's basically the whole song is about hitting rock bottom with his life because Eminem hit rock bottom before he became famous. Like, he he said he had to break into his own house in the into the back window and sleep on the floor uh, because he got evicted because he couldn't pay the rent uh, before he blew up because he actually got rejected by Dre, a uh, Dutch Dre, when he flew him out, all the producers and stuff of the studio. They thought he was really good, but they were saying he's not marketable. You know, he's a white guy with blue eyes. Basically kind of being a bit racist towards him too. They were saying like, oh, we can't market this dude. He's not going to blow up. But, you know, that's in that space, there was a big space for white rappers. Like Vanilla Ice, Fred Durst were huge. Like all these kind of other other different rappers were doing their thing. 
kind of like not really playing major parts in the actual like rap rapidly scene like you know method man like these big you know big time rappers but <laughs> there was definitely a scene for it and when he came in he just blew up and that's like he's saying that that was the rock bottom that he hit so my life is full of empty promises and broken dreams i'm hoping things look up but there ain't no job openings i feel discouraged hungry and malnourished living in this house with no firmness unfurnished and i'm sick of working dead end jobs with lame pay and i'm tired of being hired and fired the same day We've all been there. <laughs> I'm sick of working dead end jobs with lame pay, and I'm tired of being hired and fired the same day, bro. This is this is why Eminem's the most relatable rapper, man, because he always would talk about, you know what I mean, that these jobs would pay shit. You know what I mean? Uh, you know, he would get hired and fired the same day because they just suck so bad. You know, a lot of times like, I worked a ton of different jobs, like security jobs, and people would just walk out <laughs> the same day on their lunch break. They like forget this, just take off their name tag, and walk out, cause. You know, the, the disrespect and, and the pay was just so shit. Like, people get tired of that, guys. You get tired of being a have-not. You know what I mean? That's kind of why a lot of people pursue, like, things like music and all that kind of thing. That's why he's pursuing the music, because he knows he can kind of get some money from that. So, gotta take risks, man. If you don't take risks, you'll never, you'll never get any rewards, you know? But well, fuck it. If you know the rules to the game, play. Because when we die, we know we all going the same way. Because it's cool to be the player, but it sucks to be the fan. You know what you need is more. That's fine, man. It's cool to be the player, but it sucks to be the fan. So the fan, and then he's saying cool. It's like a double entendre, but like a real slight one. He just throws all these like kind of, um, you know, different kind of play on words into all his rhyme schemes. And he's it's like almost he's like not even trying, you know, he's not even trying. It's just amazing. So. Y'all going the same way. Cause it's cool to be the player, but it sucks to be the fan. You know what you need is rocks to be the man. Plus luck to be sedan. I'm comfortable and roomy in a six. But they threw me in the mix with all these gloomy lunatics. To walk around depressed and smoke a pound of sets a day. And yesterday went by so quick, it seems like it was just today. My daughter wants to throw the ball, but I'm too stressed to play. Live half my life and throw the rest away. Yeah, man, this, this song is probably one of the most, man, deep songs of all time, bro. So, he's saying, when all you, need, you, you only need bucks to be the man. So, you only, need, um, you only need money to be the man, right? Plus a luxury sedan, right? But So, I'm saying all my problems will go away if I just have some, some money, just a little bit. He's not asking for lots. He's just saying for the sedan. He's not asking for the, for the Bentley. But he's saying, um, instead, of, instead of what happened, they threw me in the room. So, he could be talking about school, you know, or else just a regular work job. That, that smoke so much weed, they don't know what's going on. And yes, they went by so quick. It seems like it was just today. So, you know what I mean? Every day seems the same because it's just the same old kind of bullshit. He said, my daughter wants to throw the ball, but I'm just too stressed to pay. I got all these money problems. I'm too stressed to throw, you know, to throw, throw the ball around, you know? Crazy, I live half my life and throw the rest away. So, shit's just brutal, man. Like, you know, he's basically just saying like, how the hell can we just live like, just such a, a you know, monotonous, like boring ass lives all the time. You know, it's kind of facts because I think everyone can relate to that shit. So, but I'm too stressed to play. The path I like to throw the rest away. That's rock bottom. Life makes you mad enough. That's rock bottom. You want something bad enough? That's rock bottom. You feel like you've had enough to hear because you've had enough to scream, but you've had enough to hear. That's rock bottom. This life makes you mad enough. That's rock bottom. You want something bad enough? That's rock bottom. You feel like you've had enough to hear because you've had enough to scream, but you've had enough to hear. Mad, mad enough to kill. Cause he has, you got no money, man. You gotta get money somehow, you know. People to love me, people to hate me, but it's the evil that made me the stack, stab, and the and shady. I want the money, the women, the fortune and fame. That means I end up burning in hell, scorching in flames. That means I'm stealing your checkbook and forging your name. This lifetime bliss for eternal torture and pain. So, a lot of people don't don't understand as well. This is before Eminem got famous. So, he, so when he was recording this, he had nothing, guys. So this was his Slim Shady LP. So this was his debut breakout album now he had another album before that infinite but infinite did not do anything it sold like 1500 records 1500 records i think something like that now correct me if i'm wrong you know I mean? i'm not 100 true on all these numbers but it sold like nothing then he was like all right let's check this out i'm gonna release an album that's just gonna you know bust through everything slim shady dropped and this is before he wrote this for the slim shady before you know he got famous and did he little did he know that this was just gonna blow up. 30, 30 million albums, I think it's like 30 times platinum, 
biggest album of all time rap album so insane cuz right now I feel like I just hit the rock bottom I got problems now everybody on my blocks got them I'm screaming like them two cops when two pox shot them holding two blocks hope your doors got new locks on them my daughter's feet ain't got no shoes or socks on them and the rings you're wearing look like they got a few rocks on them oh, that's a crazy line so and I'm saying I'm screaming like those two cops he goes now everyone on my he goes I got I just hit rock bottom I got problems now everyone, now everybody on my blocks got them. So, cause I got problems, I'm gonna rob everyone. Cause everyone else got problems now. Because, you know what I mean. I'm gonna put my problems onto you. I'm gonna rob your ass, basically. That's what everyone's trying to say. This song, bro, <laughs> this is one of the best songs of all time. You see, say I'm screaming like two cops when Tupac shot him. So, um, so uh, I'm screaming like them two cops when Tupac. So, you know, uh, you know, Tupac obviously got in major beefs with the police, was shooting up the place, stuff like that. He said. <clears throat> I'm holding two Glocks. I hope your do uh, door is cutting two Glocks on them. Basically, and I'm, you said I'm gonna rob your house, basically, because I got no money. And he said it looks like um, those those diamonds, those rings you got, got a few rocks on, got a few diamonds on them. Nuts. The socks on them and the rings you wear and look like they got a few rocks on them. And while you flaunt them, I could be taking them to shops to pawn them. I got a couple of rings and a brand new watch. You want them? Cause I ain't never win gold off one song. I'm running up on someone's lawn with guns drawn. That's rock Dude, that, that last line, best line, one of the best lines of Eminem history. I'm running up on someone's lawn with guns drawn. So like, the drawn out a little, you know, uh, assonant sounding of the words lawn drawn. Like he's making it like super drawn out. So drawn, even though he says the word as well, <coughs> his wordplay guys <clears throat> is unmatched. I mean, there's no one even. Let me let me just repeat that one again. So he said, "Cause I never went gold on one song." So because. You know, he's released an album because not one song will do it for him. I'm running up on someone's lawn, as in he's got the, he's robbing someone's house, basically. You know what I mean? And, you know what I mean? He's got the guns drawn, he got the two glocks that he was talking about. Um, absolutely crazy. That that last line, guys, there's so many different meanings to that. It's crazy. Got a couple of rings and a brand new watch. You want them? Because I ain't never win gold off one song. I'm running up on someone's lawn with guns drawn. That's rock bottom. That's rock bottom. That's rock bottom, guys. Everyone's saying that's rock bottom. So I hope you guys like that, man. Uh, one of Eminem's best songs of all time. Eminem, Slim Shady LP, rock bottom. So that's just one of the, one of the GOAT songs, guys. So love you guys all. I'll see you guys in the next video, man. Peace.